Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Never Alone Homestead. My name is Cammy, and welcome back to the homestead. Well, guys, the sun is going down, the temperature is going down, and the greenhouse is going up. So let's take a look. What I find out on these two holes here is to, if you lay it flat, it'll straighten these ends out and it's a lot better and a lot easier going on and makes your screw go in flat. Dawn is about ready for me and then we're going to be heading to the other side. I'm stuck in that end and I'm going to put the level. I'm probably about to come down. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. Put a different hole. There you go. Oh, yeah, that would help if that way we put a big super in the same hole, it's going to follow that same pattern. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. That's right. I'll be cooking the gas. Yeah. This is about the level where we had it. About down a quarter of an inch. That's supposed to be level right there. Good. It's good. Clear. Believe it or not, we're almost at the end of the river, all the way to the end. Well guys, out here yesterday working onto the greenhouse, had to redo some things, and today I came back and I'm, I'm really liking how it's looking now. And just flatten out one side of it, and then take your hammer and mold it around so you can get to the other side. Sorry.
so glad that you're here watching this video today. I am working onto the low side wall greenhouse. It's gonna be a roll up side. And I did hire somebody, like I said in a previous video, but they did it all wrong and I've been having to redo it. I actually pulled uh, John's carpentry in uh, to help me out some. So uh, he works his own business. So he helps me a couple hours on Saturday. Needless to say, my other projects are on hold and I'm just digging in, getting this greenhouse done. So I'm excited about it, even though I've had some, it's slowing me down and it has some obstacles. I found more problems yesterday. It's the thing of it is, is when you're doing a, uh, any type of low side wall greenhouse, high side wall greenhouse, you know, any kind of, kind of building extraction, you need to have it square. And you need to put a string on it and you need to, you know, you just, you just, you can't do it just any way. You just can't eyeball it. So let me show you what's going on here. Um, because of me taking some measurements yesterday and, you know, looking at some things, realized that I was supposed to have at the end wall, I was going to have a fan at, um, at the top and I was going to have one at the other end because it's going to be a screen, uh, not a screen door, door, a storm door on both ends. But then when I looked at it, you put the poles too deep um it's cutting me short on my fan so i've got to come up with another plan so it's, the goodness of this is that i did catch everything and stop the progress before it continued on and really messed up my whole plans for this greenhouse it's not your ordinary greenhouse or low side wall greenhouse i live in a hurricane zone so i'm trying to do things a different way so let me take you along on this journey so yesterday I poured concrete for this side. Um, John did that. I also took the boards off yesterday so I can, can finish the curing. Um, he did that side. He put the, the boards around this so that um, the, this, uh, this section could be done right here. And I put the bolts in and everything. So that was done yesterday. Uh, and also, as you can tell, I painted this right here. On both sides, I painted. I will go back over and do uh, some touch up, some second coat. I got to do the bottom board. So that is up there, was where I was going to put my fan when I did my measurements. Here, you should have a string run from here all the way down to there. To make sure that you know, and you need to have it squared up just to make sure that you're putting your poles in. You know, measure your poles make sure that they're going down the depth they're supposed to go actually it's, it's um into the manual this greenhouse uh low side wall tunnel came from grower solutions which they're very explainable or explanatory into their uh manual so it's not um it's not a hard situation as i'm taking over this project i find out that putting up a greenhouse is not that hard it's actually just you got to be focused and you got to be dedicated day after i do some painting before it gets too hot i'm try to paint over there and i've got to come back again for the second time and raise this board up take these screws out raise those brackets up raise the board up and try to get it higher but i am going back like i said and redoing everything this is uh, the next stage. Um, hopefully, I'll get the other side done today. And then, that'll be curing. Storm door there. So what I'm going to do, I just had to come up, with, come up with plan B since my original plan got messed up because there's no way my fan to go up there. So what I'm going to do is uh, take and frame in right there on the side of that board and put my fan and put one at the other end. It's very crucial, especially with the low sidewall greenhouse. You got to have uh, ventilation. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button and subscribe and share. I, I just appreciate you watching. And uh, if you have any comments, leave me a comment below. It's starting to warm up here. It's pretty for right now. We've had some drastic weather, so I just want to get as much done as I can on this greenhouse. And I'm really excited about it. But because uh, you know, when you do your your low side wall or high side wall greenhouse you just got to make sure you get your you got to get it squared up you got to pull a string you got to get those poles down to everyone just about just exactly just about exactly down so that everything would just flow and be level 
and then after that it would just flow with ease. John and I are at it again. John is starting the end wall and I'm going to probably be putting some, trying to put some carriage bolts in and working on the side wall but we are progressing on this greenhouse. Okay John let's get to work. <laughs> All right. <laughs> on the sides right here just building a frame right here and then we're going to put a piece of plywood wood right there. Um, I have routed on the side over there so when the plastic comes around or right there on that edge it's not going to be cutting it and over here we're not going to worry about routing it right here because it's kind of flush and so once we get this right here done then we're going to work on putting a frame right here of some sort. This is John Blanton was Blanton so how is it? John Blanton construction with John Blanton. <laughs> you can tell a better night hand, John. Go ahead. I think John's a little bit camera shy. Come yeah, on, I'm John. Cam I'm camera He's, shy. Oh, he missed it. So, anyways, I'm not camera shy anymore. You so, go with so, it. so, yeah, John Blank Construction at 910 352 2121. John is very busy. He, I haven't had any complaints. I have hired other people and I have fired every one of them. This is an um, exhaust fan, trying to find out, and not a blowing fan, and it's not going up there, and we're going to put it right here, approximately right, about right there, and build a, a frame, so take this, this is our measurements, and then down. a beautiful day here onto the east coast the sun has gone down but it's been a very productive day so so far this is the end wall here john is over there he's cutting that piece of plywood and then i'll be over here routing it off and then we will be putting it on this side over here and then what I got to do, I've got most of these boards cut right here um, to a degree. I've got them cut, but I've got to remeasure. So here I'm going to be putting some carriage bolts there. So, and over here, there's going to be some carriage bolts over here. So actually, it looks easy. We're getting those carriage bolts through metal and uh, wood. It's, it's kind of difficult, but once it gets, starts going through, it's okay. So there's one down there and uh, one down there. As you see, I've been working on this hardware wire. I haven't been able to get back to it because I've been working on some other things. But as you can see, that's where the hardware wire is going to be going, and it's going to be going on the same way on the other side of how to build a low side wall, roll up side greenhouse. Uh, Appreciate you so much. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and like, and share. Help me to get out there into the YouTube arena. Um, unless I get so many likes, uh, the videos just stay right there in a stagnant place. And um, yeah, that's not fair, but that's just the way it is. So thank you so much for helping me getting these videos out there. Well, guys, I think John is fixing to be waiting on me. I've got to get over there. <laughs> I got to route this. I got to route this board so that he can. And, well, John and I can get it over here on this end wall so we can move forward because it is hot out here. Okay, guys, it is hot, isn't John? We're sweating. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Hey, John, come check this build out because. It's starting to do something crazy. Oh, is it? It might have, it might have dropped down on you. Yeah. Let me check it out. Bring it down just a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll tell you something. Yeah. That's over there. It's down from where the plywood is. It's going to be a big moment. And they got to keep it up. Okay. It's over there. It's over there.
I hate it when a screw messes up. <laughs> I know it is. Oh. They don't even make screws. They don't make, make screws worth a flip anymore. No, I didn't even put that, I need to put that screw there anyhow. I'll just have to take a pair of vice grips and get it back out. You got some? Yeah, I got oh, some, but I, oh, no, I didn't see I put that screw in there. Oh. So I put that screw down. <laughs> it's no big deal. I just, it's just a bad screw. There we go. Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome back to Never Alone Homestead. My name is Cammy, and welcome back to the homestead. Well, guys, the greenhouse, low side wall tunnel greenhouse is still in progress, and it's progress a lot, and I feel like it's on the downslope now of being finished. So the next step will be the wiggle wire, uh, finish putting in the hardware wire onto the sides. It'll, it's going to be roll-up size, um, putting the plastic on, putting straps on, and uh, just uh, putting some galvanized um, let's see, carriage bolts in. I haven't completed that, but we've had some strange weather here. It's been raining. It's the sun it just came back out and is now turning hot and humid. So I want to give you a walkthrough onto the greenhouse, hoping that through this structure here, you can use it on your homestead. So let's get going on taking a look at this greenhouse. So this is going to be front end wall. And right there is going to be a storm door, which I kind of expected to already be up, but I'm only one person. And uh, so the last three weeks, it's, uh, this hasn't gotten there. And so right here, I'm planning on putting a window unit, air conditioned, just to see, you know, if I like it, if it gets too hot or, you know, just maybe to fall or something other. Uh, just going to see how that goes. If it doesn't work out, you know, I can always put a shelf there or something other. No big deal. Plastic is going to go on the end wall. We're above these boards right here. Um, this right here is going to be an exhaust fan going right there. And uh, so as we walk through the greenhouse, this, the same structure is going to be on the other end, except it's not going to have a window unit, air condition. Over here is going to be, be, be a PVC um, shutter that you hand open to help pull some air in, hopefully. Um, with another exhaust fan going on over here. I have yesterday been putting in some brackets, see how that goes. Uh, I haven't got all the screws in yet, so I'm putting some brackets there that I had purchased. Um, I was going to use them on the side walls, but I felt like it was just a little bit too big, so I decided, besides taking them back, I'm just going to try working them right there. Here over here is going to be the same way. I didn't get all the screws in because I didn't think I had um, the, the screws I had was too long, and I think I found some that I could use. So the wood prices are so high, they're like gold. And so I haven't got the raised beds in, plus uh, I need 16 footers. This is the 32 by 16, and uh, my trailer will not carry that. And also, I decided to work on other things, hoping that the prices of wood will come down. If not, um, so I was using my time to try to get the wood here, and it just sitting in the pile because you're dealing with uh, probably about uh, uh, um, 10 by 16s, and so that's... Uh, a lot to deal with by yourself so my focus was to get the um, horror wire on finish the other side wall over there that you see the boards it's not painted um, I was painting those as I was going because over here when I was painting it it took such a long time to do it that way but um, then I decided with our weather that I'll just go ahead and get them in and uh, don't have that much more painting to do you know I'll just I'll just work at it just want to go ahead and get those boards in now I, I have got some of it painted on on the outside well I've got it painted on the outside well I will have to go back in and do some sanding um, so uh, because it has been sanded one time and I'm 
not liking, you know, it's kind of rough. It's going to be plastic coming down here, even though the wiggle wire is going to be right here. I just want to make sure on some of these areas here that it's, you know, you got stuff sticking out. Just want to sand it down. So, uh, yesterday I put the rest of those on and uh, bracketed in, put brackets on the, there's different size brackets. And the uh, reason I did that is because of, you know, going to get them and they didn't have it and getting what I could get. I also took some this scrap wood and built this where I can put my uh, seed trays on or my plants or you know have an area to work on so I could fill the trays maybe put the bags down there or fertilizer or whatever up under there to get it out of the way but this is just scrap wood leftover wood and um, don't want to waste anything so kind of built that right there and my trays are I'm gonna figure in my trays I'll, I'll you know I have a good stretch here to be able to put them there and maybe have enough room to you know put something else on that table it's a little bit bigger than I planned on it but you know you 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 want to uh, think ahead you don't want to go too small uh, you want to go just maybe a little bit bigger I don't believe it's gonna be a waste I can definitely even when I'm not putting the seed trays I can possibly put something up there and get it out of the way. So the boards for the raised beds, um, I'm going to work on those because wood is like gold and it's very expensive. And uh, I'm mean, just trying to get that wood here by myself. Dealing with one by 16s, it just looked like it's going to be a little bit difficult. My trailer's not big enough, so I um, um, decided to work on something else and then work on getting the wood so now it's at, at, at the place of the wiggle wire to go on the sides and um the wiggle wire and then it's going to be the plastic 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 and then um the shade cloth and i have a white shade cloth and a black shade cloth depending on the weather and the straps to hold that down the strapping and uh then it'll be at completion. It's hot and it's humid here. When the sun comes out, we've had so much rain, it's just very hot and humid. So guys, I just want to show you this greenhouse, hoping that you can use it into your life, onto your homestead. And um, this is more of a windproof type of uh, low side wall tunnel that I purchased from a grower solution the, the metal frame the wood of course did not come from grower solution the wood is come from a local building supply place so it has been a process it took me a little bit longer um, just the circumstances all dealing with this greenhouse um, it would have been a lot easier probably if I just did it myself but starting off it kind of got out of square and stuff and um, didn't realize it because of how it was put together by somebody else and just had to take over um, the situation and it's fine because I believe all things work together for the good which is called according to his purpose so maybe God just want to put me through this or maybe he just seen that I was strong enough to be able to do this alone not to rely upon people but rely upon him we're living in a time and a circumstances we need to rely upon God not situations, not circumstances, not grocery stores, not people, but learn to trust God and lean not to our own understandings, but lean on God who is the provider, the caretaker, the holder, the one that gives us wisdom, understanding in all things. Well, guys, just want to share this uh, low sidewall tunnel greenhouse with you, roll up size. So yeah, the, after, you know, we get to start working on the plastic, then the hardware for the uh, roll-up size will go on. Of course, the hardware wire, I got to complete it before I even consider putting the plastic on. It's a little bit more difficult trying to do that by yourself, um, but hey, I've got half of it done. 
I'll get the rest of it. The main focus was just to go ahead and get this low sidewall uh, wood on this side and get it on so I know exactly if I needed any more, more wood for that area and go ahead and purchase that because of the uncertain times that we're in. Because I have the plastic, I have the shade cloth, I have the wiggle wire, you know, I have everything else. I just make sure that I got wood to finish this project. Now, the uh, dorm doors will go on um, hopefully soon. Maybe um, we'll see how that goes, whether it's the plastic or just go ahead and, and get this on. Um, yeah, I'm only one person, but it's, you know, it's durable. You can do this onto your homestead. This might be a little overkill for some of y'all, but this is, is something that, you know, you don't have to go back and hopefully try to work on if you live into a wind zone. It gives you more structure, more soundness. And um, it, I believe it also, like in the wintertime, it kind of help protect your plants. That's going to be one of my focuses also. So guys, I just want to show you this greenhouse. If you like this greenhouse, give me a thumbs up and please share and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I appreciate you so much. And remember guys, make it a great day. God bless you.